Hey everybody, it is me, Kelvin. I'm back for yet another video. I will be looking at the, I guess the queen reveal for season six of All Stars. I have it, um, I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. I have it pre-saved to my watch later. And I'm going to open up and watch it with you guys. So it's live, actually. I know it was a live event, but I don't know if it's still live, okay. Um, I think it's still live, but I'm gonna try and like start it and then like go all the way back to the beginning. So yeah, let me stop this and go all the way back to the beginning. So I go all the way back to the beginning. I see Paramount Plus, so let's start this. Um, yeah, this is all like old, like the event is over at this point. Um, okay, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Also, before this starts, um, I do, this is something I was talking to one of my friends about um, a couple of days ago. I really wanna see like, I wanna see like a lot of like, not, not lesser known queens, but I wanna see queens that like have a lot more to give. Like I wanna see a LaShawn Beyond. I wanna see a Jocelyn Fox. I wanna see a Serena Chach. Like I wanna see those girls that like, they didn't make, I guess, like, you could say some of them made an impact, but, like, I want to see those girls, like, have, like, a lot to prove and a lot of distance from, like, their, their like, old season, like, to now. Like, I don't want to see, like, no offense, like, we know girls, like, um, if we're saying big girls, like, a Gigi Good, like, a Rosé, like, you know, those queens, like, made, like, a really big impact on their season and are kind of, like, fan favorites. Like, I don't really want to see just, like, another season, like, fan favorites, because, like, I don't know. Maybe that's just my own personal bias. But let's, so it's about to get started, like, right now. The one most missed to me, all the criteria. Through all that, just say, hey, Mr. Kyria. Oh, so you have a Kyria. The sass, the class, and all this sass. So we have a Kyria. Um, Akira Davenport, so she's back from season 11. That was a season with Evie Oddly. So yeah, we had 13, 12, and 11. So yeah, uh, season 13 with Evie Oddly. And yeah, so she's back. And I guess they're doing like, um, they're doing their walk-in looks as well. So she's in this like nice gold, like, dress and like the um she has a top bun but it has like a, all these like little curls in it so it looks very nice actually look here chanel davenport she's back well looky looky i see mama rule's budget got bigger so one thing i don't like about like when they do these is like they're giving away like their full like entrance look like i feel like and obviously they post on like the instagram and things like that but like i feel like the entrance looks have like a little bit more impact than that so i don't know that's just my own opinion and my cat is like circling around the litter box. Akira is a power hitter in this competition. Well, where did she get that big old booty from? You go, you go, slap it today, slap it today. Miss Ass Almighty, copyright it. <laughs> the queen that nobody saw coming. On season eleven, I was a force to be reckoned with. What mother did say made the best. Yes. Win. Jiggly, I love Jiggly Kelly Ente. Oh my god, I'm so glad to see her back. It's funny that I mentioned LaShawn Beyond because her and LaShawn Beyond have like an, a famous like, uh, this is in RuPaul's Best Friends race. Like that was with her and Jiggly Caliente. Oh my gosh, I love Jiggly. I do like Jiggly. Hey, and she's wearing this nice, very form-fitting, cute little black dress. May I call you Jiggly? Of course, my man, we think she's a girl. Season four was an amazing oh. opportunity. I forgot about the Snooky Smush Smush. Oh. It was very emotional. There was a lot of insecurities that I didn't realize I was projecting. I mean, you're Jiggly Caliente. Embrace the Jiggly. I am. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> you look sick. <laughs> and I'm coming full force. Get ready. I'm back, pack, back, pack, back again. Oh. Bitch, like I'm still. Hey everyone, it's Jan. Oh, so we have Jan. From season 12. And she's in this little, like, cutesy dancer moment with pigtails. Um, 
uh, looks like elbow length pigtails. So Jan is back. I like Jan. I really like Jan on her season. And I really feel like the judges like either forcibly didn't like want to understand her, like what she was doing, but like she brought really good looks like most of the runways and like her performances were really good and acting dancing like she was really good she was like um it's actually really funny like when rue told rose in season 13 like he knows like she's like the full package like jan is the full package like to me RuPaul's drag race did you miss me you're a beast you bring this polish that really should be something to be proud of. I wanna rule the world. On my season, through my eagerness to win this competition, I came off completely unhinged. At an 11 the entire time. Fantastic! All right, you're coming off very She did, yeah, she was very like try hardish, but that was just like Jan. So it's like, get with the program. It's right now. I think last time I needed to prove to myself that I had everything that it took to be a winner. But now I know that. You saw the homegirl's back and she's sweeter than before. <laughs> oh, Raja! Raja, girl! Raja O'Hara is back. Oh, words cannot describe how much I love Raja O'Hara, period, full stop. Raja O'Hara is so that girl, so that girl for confrontation, and so that girl for causing mess and drama, I live. I absolutely live. And she's in this nice, Raja looks really good in purples, so she's in this nice purple and like blue mix. Um, She has like a like a little mini like corseted with like a gown moment attached. Um, but then on the actual blouse, it's blue. So it's like a nice uh, blue and purple. So that looks very nice. And she has uh, over knee high boots. And on them, I think it says Raja O'Hara. Like one, one boot says Raja, the other says O'Hara. Two of them. Two of them. Two of them. <laughs> I see Diana Ross. I see Lola uh, she... Let me tell you something. Raja is a bad bitch. Okay? She is. But season 11, Raja, she was just a bitch. Uh, Try me right now. I'm not gagging. She's taking up enough mirror space. Oh. oh. It's fine. Yeah, ma'am, I'm coming for that $100,000. Bitch, the brakes has been cut, and I'm going full throttle. Bitch, let's go. Ah. Feeling froggy. It's Ginger Minj from the top three. So we have Ginger Minj. Again. Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, but Ginger Minj, Ginger Minj already done had hers. Is. She was on All Stars 2. I believe. And she's back again. So we've, we've seen before where girls from previous All-Stars do come back. Um, in All-Stars 4, because 5 was Shay. Oh, wait, no, who was the last one? Um, I actually don't remember. Well, I guess whichever one Monet and Trinity won um, is when Manila and um, Latrice Royale came back. So they were on season one, but I kind of feel like season one is like, okay, because season one was like not really a solidified All-Stars. Like they didn't really know the format that well or they really didn't know like what they were doing with the franchise of all-stars but ginger Minj was on season two and season two was like 
getting like season two was like they kind of like already started the format and then it was it went on to be that format for um quite a while or i should say not for quite a while but that was like it wasn't it wasn't unorganized and it wasn't a mess like season one was so i'm very interested to see the growth and progression that she has from her prior all-stars of Run. season seven to the bottom floor of All Stars Two. That's right, I'm versatile. Where in England are you from, Adele? My house. <laughs> she can give you comedy and glamour and acting and singing. I mean, she's a quadruple threat. On season seven, I was the OG big girl that made it to the finale. That's right. But on All Stars Two, my fate was in the hand of a cavalcade of other crossdressers. So the queen that I'm sending home, that's gender. Which one of you bitches gave me warts? Who is this? I hope you like her doggy style. Yara Sophia. So Yara Sophia came in this sickening little, I think it's like a dog or like a wolf mask. And it's this really like iridescent gold moment. Uh, it looks very pretty. Um, She was on All Stars 1. Um, and I remember because I remember the whole change your costume, change it around. And then she, uh, <laughs> when uh, Mimi I'm first was like, we didn't come here to do this. And uh, Yara was like, well, they need someone to send home first. So, yeah, I remember that. So she was on season one. So that makes sense because season one was, as I said, such an unstructured kind of like different kind of season. And I feel like Yara, so I feel like as a character, like, I feel like her personality is so muted, like, at least in my opinion, that, like, I'm very interested to see, like, what she can bring, like, to the actual competition. I'm Jenna Sofia for Legal Oprah Winfrey. I'm just kidding. That body is near perfection. A scandalo. Lore can move it. Oh, oh, almost burned my ass. Oh, my God. That bitch is crazy. On season three, I've got to drop four. Go with it. Hola. I gotta be, I gotta be here, I gotta be here. Actually, I take it back. Her, I guess her, maybe I may have just misremembering history, but her personality doesn't seem like it was very muted. So maybe it was just um that uh she's a bit crazier like on the on the like the runways and things like that. I think I did really well, but I wanted to show more. Girl. Silk, Silk with the good old milk is back. Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Silky Nutmeg Ganache, I, I love how polarizing she is as a character. It's so funny to me. If I was ready to lip sync for my motherfucking life, bitch, I was ready to do so. Like, I was motherfucking ready. Oh my gosh. I love it. Silky is like, so, she seems very funny to me. So we'll see how Silky does. When I came for the lunch, I'll start six. She better. I'm for the dinner. Look up, bitch, I am your winner. Oh. She had, <laughs> she had a cookie and milk in her titties. Girl. <laughs> Y'all know who it is, it's bitch. Uh, bitch! Silky, Silky better wear this fucking wig and this confessional, bitch. Silky has a full fucking human hair unit in this fucking confessional I live. Oh, milk from season 11. Oh, you want some? <laughs> Love me some silky nutmeg ganache. There's a magic to silky that you can't deny. Can I get your phone though? <laughs> when I watch season 11, I still love everything about me. <laughs> if I want a real thing for my well, motherfucking life, today, bitch, I was ready to motherfucking do so. But now that I get the second chance. Oh my god, her hair is huge. Her hair is like. It's the it's the um balls that she had. It's like the same look that she had in her promo look, but it's huge. Like it's long. Oh me, my dress. I have a box for delivery. Oh, Pandora box is back. 
But I heard you only accept them in the rear. Oh, I like this. So Pandora Box is back. Pandora Box, I believe she was the first because uh, All Star Season 1 was the teams. And I think she was the first to go with Mimi. Um, I'm not sure, but uh, she was very early up to go of Season 1. So she was back or season one of All Stars. So she is back now for All Star 6. I'm very excited to see like Pandora. I don't really connect with Pandora's, um, I don't really connect with her uh, type of comedy uh, personally for me, but I am very interested to see how someone from an earlier season fashion wise is gonna be able to keep up with the new girls. And her entrance look looks amazing. It's this, open slit um dress with some uh, i don't know i want to call it rusing but the pattern or the way that it's like fitted like kind of curves to her body and then it has like a cape as well and it just looks really nice she looks really good I'm Pandora Box, and i'm from RuPaul's drag race season two and all stars one so this is the third so we had um ginger minge um Yara Sophia now we have uh Pandora Box we have three girls so far that are from a previous all-star season that bitch went into my purse and so three of these hoes already didn't had hers is she is a fantastic comedian I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts <laughs> I was Miss Congeniality of season two and I was not Miss Congeniality of all-stars <laughs> Why do you think the universe has paired you two together? I'm glad for punishment. Oh, dear. If I was by myself, I would have won. I need another shot. Because I want to win it all. Uh, off to the races. Girl, is that? Yes! Bitch, Scarlet, bitch. Scarlet Envy is back. I love Scarlet. She, her character, like the way... Um, that her character was portrayed in season 11, because I think she was with Raja, and Raja was with Silky. And, oh, actually, we have, we have, we have Scarlet, Silky, Akira, Raja. We have four season 11 girls, I believe. Yeah, I believe all those are season 11 girls. That's pretty stacked for season 11. But yeah, I like Scarlet Envy. Her fashions were okay. The best thing that she walked out on in the runway was that like creature from the Black Lagoon where she's like in the all latex with the face mask and the holes cut out. That was excellent. And I really responded um, well to them. Scarlet and be back again. And I couldn't be more excited. All Stars wants me and the feeling is mutual. Scarlet is a leading lady. <laughs> New phone. Who did? Not so fast. My journey on season 11 was unquestionably cut short. Who should go home tonight? Scarlet Envy. Scarlet? Scarlet, Scarlet. All of those bitches said my name on the runway. Hi, girl. I am here to show the world they were wrong and win $100,000 hairs. Representing Panama, it's Serena Cha Cha. Ah! Ole. Okay. Girl, Serena Cha Cha is that bitch. Literally, I am so okay. And I actually, I actually rewatched the um whole um sit your ass down and shut the hell up, bitch. That whole like interaction between Serena Cha Cha versus everybody. And we, when she said the ghetto lexicon and lingo has got to go and everyone lost their minds, that is such an iconic moment. Um, I hope she addresses that like on this season because like that was really crazy. Um, even back then, like I, it was very interesting to see because like I feel like in 2021, we're very conscious of what we say and very prudent to if you are if you don't care about what you say then you don't care about what you say but we're very prudent to like be very like conscious of what we say but back then when that was airing like it was a totally different time now do i think that people were saying like the ghetto 
like calling people get. I don't think they calling people ghetto or saying that people speak ghetto, um, ghetto. Uh, back then was particularly acceptable, but I think it was very interesting that like everyone had such a react. Like everyone was ready to fight Serena, and to me that is so funny. Hey, Serena, it's Mother Hair, Serena Chat Chat. That's right, the Wigstress is back. You are a young and talented queen with so much more to show the world. I can see your seafood platter. Season five, I was so young, I'm so new to drag. You only auditioned for this thing once, being 21 and getting right away once. That season had some of the strongest queens, period. I mean, titan queens. I mean, like, the best of the best. And I wasn't ready for that. But now, I'm ready. Oh, my God, I'm so ready. <laughs> Ooh, girl, you got female. Ah! Bitch, Kylie Sonique Love. Kylie Sonique Love is back with a sickening entrance line. That entrance line was sickening. Harkening back to the um, old format of Drag Race where when Rue would come on the television in the workroom, he said, ooh, girl, you have insert pejorative which they've since redacted um, from the show and, and they no longer use that. So she subverted it and says, ooh, girl, looks like you got female, which I love. She she did that. That was a good entrance line. So let's see. Did somebody say fish? I haven't eaten all day. Yeah! Since season two, so much has happened to me and I feel like it's time for me to reintroduce myself I am Kylie Sony Club. You can call me Kylie. All my friends do. Ooh, Ooh, the devil went down to Georgia. The quickest way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Ride that cannon. Yeah, that is the spot. Season two was a great experience for me. I believed in my talent then and my potential, but I knew that was not my moment. Oh, not the hat fell off, girl. I've been dreaming about the second chance forever. Ooh. I am the lip sync assassin of season. Trinity K. Bonet, girl. Trinity K. Bonet is back. Trinity K. Bonet is a fantastic performer and a fantastic queen. I've seen some of her performances online and they're always so excellent. Um, and she came back in this kind of polka dotty skirt with a black top with um, uh, kind of black fur sleeves, but the top is sheer so you can see the bra and a black brim hat and she looks really good. And I am Trinity K. Bonet. But yeah, if I remember from her season, she got very like in her, not in her head because the judges were not feeling what she was doing, but that like really affected her during her season. So I'm very interested to see how this season will go. But I had no clue. Trudy, I don't know why your back is turned. You have to play to the camera. The stage plays and the, the music, like, it was just a lie. Sorry if I suck, I suck. You freaked yourself out. I have never been critiqued, and it made me feel small. I'm trying to drag, pun intended, yourself out, because when I see you lip sync, I see it there. It's there. Exactly. I had it all. Oh, she looks good. I believe in myself like everybody else did, and now you can't tell me nothing. That's the advantage of being an all-star, because you get to change the narrative. This is redemption time. <laughs> Eureka, you found it. Again, again, and again, and again. Well, maybe third time is charm, hell. Listen, girl, the mama is back. So we have Eureka O'Hare. Eureka O'Hare is back. Um, I think Eureka is an interesting character. I know that she is also very polarizing. A lot of people like either love Eureka or they don't love Eureka. Like it's it's one or the other. So I'm very interested to see how she will play with the other characters in the 
in the cast, in this cast. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, her outfit's okay. Um, it's like a gown, a floor length gown with um, ruffled sleeves or ruffled shoulder sleeves um, with like an exposed cage moment on the hips. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, let's see what she's gonna say. <laughs> got them all star lips, bitch. Oh, she got the pop candy. <laughs> Glamorous looks with a sense of humor. My goodness, I want to look like that when I go home to my husband tonight. I'm not even Season nine, I popped the knee. Season ten, I didn't win. You see, but all star six, that crowns for me. Okay, Mama Goose, Mother Goose. <laughs> Second chance is the paramount. Oh, so is this a trailer? Oh, I love this. So I guess it's, it skips to the Meet the Queens. Girl, I loved that. Ooh, I love that. And I love the, um, I love the Meet the Queens afterwards. Um, girls, I'm very excited to see. I'm, I'm so excited to see what Serena Chaja can bring. I'm very excited to see what, um, Silky is going to bring. I'm very interested to see what Raja is going to bring. If she's going to bring the drama mama. So... I'm very excited. Um, I probably won't do a um, reaction to the, um, like the Meet the Queens um, uh, for that perspective, um, because I just don't really like, I don't really like watching the Meet the Queens, but yeah, let me know who you guys are excited for. Let me know your thoughts on the new Queens. I'll see you in the comments below. And yeah, I'm posting this out of order. So I have a bunch of other videos on backlog, but those hoes can wait. I wanted to get this one out. All right. Thank you. See you guys later.